Hey fam, what is going on and welcome back to another Ghost of Tsushima video. Now, when you're very first starting out with Ghost of Tsushima Legends, I do understand how difficult it can be and a little bit confusing when we're talking about gear, gear mastery system, and kind of just raising your overall key level specifically. So this video is going to be going over that. It's kind of going to be a little crash course. I'm not going to go too in depth on everything, but I am going to try to touch on all the important aspects of raising your key level, you know, and gear mastery and all that good stuff. So stick around if it's something that you're interested in and are having issues with with it and uh, hopefully this video helps you and a lot of other people if you guys like this video please be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're not already subscribed if not it's all good I love y'all anyway to all the new faces that have liked my videos watched my videos and subscribed in the past week guys you guys are absolutely amazing and uh welcome to the channel there's so much more where it came from so stick around anyways let's get to the video Hey guys, what is going on and welcome. So first things first, I just want to let you guys know that there is no specific like script or anything that I'm going off of. So this might kind of be all over the place. So kind of listen as best you can. Now this is going off of experience of me playing this game ever since it very first came out. So a lot of things I say uh, basically have to do with me having played this game for so damn long that it's kind of second nature. So if I don't go super in depth on something, uh, I apologize and throw the questions down below. All right guys, so I got questions on people leveling up their key level and kind of saying that they're stuck. So first, let's kind of go over the gear and everything that you need to kind of raise your key level. If you see here, the key level is that little number that is just under your weapons. That key number gets raised as you get higher level weapons and or re-roll your weapons. So basically, guys, the key level has to do with the overall rating of all these weapon slots right here. So if you have five weapon slots that all have key level 110, for example, your overall rating will be 110. Now, if you have a super high level piece of gear that's like 110 and then you have something that's like 95, your key level is going to be averaged out from the lowest to the highest. So it takes all of the key levels that you have essentially and it averages it out in order to get your overall key level. So if you want your key level to raise up, you basically have to put higher level items. So for example, for example, as you can see, my key level is 120 at the top left. Now, if I put this, these caltrops that are 110, you'll see next to the key level, it shows negative two. So that's going to take my key level down by two. So if I put that on there, you'll see my key level drops to 118. Now, if I go back and I go to put it back on, you'll see it raises it plus two, which is in green. This essentially is going to help the key level and your overall rating. So if you're stuck in gold and or silver and you're trying to get to the next level, be sure that you get that higher level gear item and then you re-roll it in order to get it to the higher key level. So for example, guys right here, I have heavenly rebuke that is at 105. Now you're saying it's at 105. How am I supposed to raise it? Do I have to wait until I play a game and then that game is going to give me a higher key level? Or can I use this item right here? The answer is, guys, you can use this item. If you hit squares, you see on the bottom of the screen where it says modifications, you can actually re-roll this entire item. On the right hand side, it'll tell you the odds of it getting into a different class or a different rarity. So for example, it says rare, epic, or legendary. Since it is already a legendary item, it's a 100% chance to be legendary, but you'll see on other items it'll say the percentage of the chance that that item will go up to the next rarity in this specific instance of you re-rolling the item now be sure you pay attention to the cost of the item right it costs 225 100 honor and three whatever the hell that last currency is because nobody really cares about it and so just be aware that that is the honor that you are going to be using the next thing is that it'll show you the key range on which the item will turn into when you roll it so right now it's 105 and on the right it is guaranteed to go between 110 and 110 so essentially it's going to go to key level 110 when i re-roll this so for example i'll re-roll this right now and now as you can see the item is now key level 110 so that is exactly how you go from a lower level item to a higher level item you have to re-roll it and you have to use your currency but use currency management beware that this stuff goes out extremely fast once you get to the higher tier items and uh it's kind of a pain in the ass to get a lot of people are asking how to get the gear and more honor and, and stuff like that to which my answer is 
always survival. The higher level you play survival, whether it's gold or nightmare, the more gear that you're going to get. And I did mention this in the last video. I think it does play a big role depending on how well you actually perform in these survival matches. So kind of keep that in mind when you are playing. Now, guys, with gear, I'll just go on to my skipping stone bow right here. So for example, guys, you have two properties on legendary items, right? So this is the only blue item I have in my inventory. So I wanted to kind of show you guys this as an example. If I hit square here on modifications, you'll notice a few things as compared to the legendary item that I just showed you guys. This only has one property and one perk because it is a rare item, which is the blue rarity. You will only have access to one perk and one item. So some people are like, how am I seeing all these builds that have two perks? How do I unlock it, etc., etc. With these, as it is as blue, you will not be able to have two properties. So in order to get two properties, you will have to re-roll this. On the right-hand side, just like we talked about earlier, possible outcomes of it staying as a rare item, 45%, or 55% of it actually turning into a purple item and unlocking a whole nother property that you actually can use. So if I re-roll this item right here, it did turn into an epic item and you saw that that second perk slot actually did become unlocked. It can be a little confusing when you see this stuff and you're not exactly aware of what to do. Just be aware that you do have to re-roll these items and when you re-roll them, not only do they go up in rarity, but they also go up in key range depending on what key level you are overall. So if you're a higher key level than the actual item, it is a very likely chance that the item will go to a higher key level as well. <clears throat> so that's how you unlock the second property, guys. Without going super in depth on properties and different things like that, essentially, guys, all of this reroll stuff is there for you to be able to kind of fine tune how you like to play. I have a bunch of builds that are going to be linked down below that you can check out, you know, a, as a template to kind of maximize how you play the game. But I will always suggest trial and error for anybody that is playing this game. Have fun with it. Find out what you like. Find out your strong points and use these properties and perks to amplify them. So, you know, having reload speed, range damage might not be for somebody else. Somebody might like draw speed better or range projectile velocity. With these right here, all you have to do is hit R2 and hold basically hold R2 down and you can see what these possible outcomes are and kind of hover over them and essentially it'll tell you exactly what it's for now you will you will notice as you're getting started there's some question marks on there and some empty slots that you don't have unlocked yet now the only way to unlock these is by unlocking gear at the end of the match when you complete a game whether it's survival whether it's story whether it's rivals it doesn't matter when you find a gear item that has it it will unlock or if you re-roll the item and it just randomly gives you a property that you haven't had before then it will also unlock so you won't be able to see what's there but it will show you once you spend some money or you unlock it in a game all right guys now a quick little touch on the gear mastery system all right let's go over that let's say you get your character to key level 110 you're all the way maxed out and you're like but i see people having key level 120 and all this stuff like what do i even do with that how do they get that well they introduce what is called the gear mastery system without going super in depth on the gear mastery system let's just talk about it as you're playing through the game you will see that you are getting these cursed items and they are red and uh you know it might be a little alarming but don't worry that's exactly what they're supposed to be on the bottom you will see every cursed item will have a purification ritual for example this purification ritual specifically says restore your health zero to 500 whether you're hitting health drums whether you're using a healing gourd or whatever you use to heal yourself this will go towards a purification ritual now once it is complete then you will unlock at the very top you will see a currency that says two and it'll go up depending on how many of these cursed items you have unlocked and that currency is used in order to re-roll your items and get them to a higher tier now listen guys there's a couple very important things for the gear mastery system that you need to know one your item that you are trying to re-roll must be locked into a specific character so for example if i want to use this water katana right here i must activate the mastery challenge if i have the mastery challenge activated it will permanently lock it onto the character that i am currently selected so if i am on my hunter and i hit activate as you can see binding this item to the hunter will prevent it from being used by any other class so understanding that you can only use it on this class with, with a couple certain exceptions is very important because once you have it locked onto this class for example i'll lock it onto my hunter right now now you'll see at the bottom mastery challenge is unlocked now don't get this confused with the cursed items let's say you want to raise it from key level 110 to 120 this specific katana right here you have to complete these challenges in order to raise it to the next key level so it goes up by two key levels so essentially each item will have five mastery challenges that you see on the right hand side it says possible challenges 
challenges in the same way as if you were looking at a property if you hit the right trigger it'll show you what possible challenges that you can get to complete in order to raise the key level by two and get you closer to 120 key level on the item now with this mastery system guys you do have to understand that you can use that currency that we talked about that is at the top right there you can use that to bypass challenges so that currency is used for a few things to bypass challenges right here if i wanted to bypass right here you can you can see it says bypass challenge and i have two of that currency that you see right there which is actually called purified it costs one in order to completely bypass the challenge and not have to complete it and you know the challenge says break gausen's curse in story mode so if you if you've done story mode and you've done all the objectives you understand that before you go into the third chapter you have to get gausen's curse and once you complete it then you will have unlocked the mastery challenge now it's important also to understand that you have to have this specific item equipped in order to complete that challenge another thing when you're completing challenges and when you're breaking the curse it has to be on difficulty gold level or higher so if you're trying to cheese it and go into like bronze or silver it will not work and you will not be completing these challenges to raise the key level all these cursed items right here guys every time you go in and you complete these rituals which the easiest way i found to do it just solo queue into gold survival and you know go in and start these little purification rituals and once you're done you can claim the item and it'll give you a purified currency to which you can then use to the item that you bind it to your character and raise that key level a little bit higher so just know when you raise that key level all the way to 120 that is when you will unlock that second perk item so as you can see right here my water katana has two perks i have way of the flame and intimidating counter and i can change it any way that i want so like for example if i'm going to re-roll this item right here way of the flame and i let's say i wanted like burning blade or something like that um it will only re-roll that perk it will not re-roll the bottom one these are two different currencies this is going to cost you know essence and whatever the little other <laughs> i really don't know what that currency is called and then this one right here is going to cost purified so just understand that these are two different things and one will not affect the other guys something very important that i want to mention to you guys is as you can see right here all my gear on my assassin is 120 and you'll see all my items have the little assassin mark except for my forbidden medicine bomb pack now you might be having issues if you are this far in the game already trying to figure out how to put the bomb pack on the assassin or the samurai depending on what you want to do and i'm going to show you exactly how to do that right now as you can see the item symbol on the actual bomb pack is for the ronin this item is locked into the ronin so what you need to do guys if you are going to be trying to get this forbidden medicine on your actual assassin first of all you're going to re-roll this item to where you have assassin unlock and then you're going to go to your ronin and you're going to actually lock that item into the ronin so down here at the bottom when you start your gear mastery it will tell you to lock it to the ronin and it will give you a message saying to be careful that only the ronin will be able to use it well as long as you re-rolled that bottom perk to say assassin unlock it will be unlocked for the assassin and after you lock it onto the ronin go to your assassin and just equip it and you should be good to start completing challenges to get that item to 120 and be able to use it the same thing goes for the samurai guys as long as it has samurai unlock as you can see right there you will be able to put it on the samurai as well i hope that helped anybody that might be a little bit confused on how to put a bomb pack onto these specific characters while you are doing the gear mastery system another thing with gear guys that's very important is when you are re-rolling an item for example right here if i wanted to re-roll this property it will lock the other property if i do decide to lock in what i rolled so if i'm going to re-roll something here i need to make sure that what i have here is already good if i'm going to do that guys the best way that i found in order to re-roll items is completely reforge the item to where you have at least two out of three that are already perfect and where you want them so i'll reforge it right here so you know let's say i have melee damage and i have poison blade right i want poison blade for example and all i want to do is get perfect parry window so then i will go to this right here and i will specifically re-roll this one and let's say oh melee resolve gain um okay i'll keep it as you notice right here it, it locked these other two items okay so you need to make sure that when you're re-rolling you are finding two out of three that you like you know the percentages on the right Right hand side it shows you the highest percentages that you can get you know obviously you want it at the higher range right the higher they are the more damage you're going to be able to do to these enemies and the better you're going to be in the long run so after you've gotten the the 
two out of three that you like. Then on the last one, you can start re-rolling it and hopefully get that perfect roll that you're looking for. And as you notice right here, it did not affect this mastery challenge when I was doing all that because this is something completely different. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's kind of that's kind of the gist of it, guys. There is a uh, they they call it the save scum option. I have a whole different video on how to do the upload download method in order to preserve your honor. But, you know, I'm going to link it down below, guys. But I just want you to understand if you don't do it correctly, you will lose your data and or all the work that you did. So you're going to be doing that at your own risk. But I will link it down below and it will save a lot of honor in the long run if you are looking at creating the most perfect build that you can possibly create. Like I said, guys, this, this video was kind of all over the place and I hope that it helped and I hope that it answered some of your questions. Um, nothing was in any specific order, but that is basically the most that I know about all the gear system that is going on here in Ghost of Tsushima Legends. I hope this video helped. If it did, please be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If not, it's all good. We love y'all anyway. Um, we'll catch you on the next video. Peace.